Okay, so today we're taking a look at the uh, Euphonics MC Mix or Avid MC Mix or is it um, Yukon MC Mix, Euphonics MC Mix, Avid Euphonics MC Mix, I'm not sure. Um, it's now owned by Avid anyway, what happened? Um, and in a minute you should see it pop up on the screen when it's been recognised. It's an Ethernet device, uh, which is unusual for control services. Um, but uh, it works very well. All I did was plug the Ethernet cable into the back of my PC and into the uh, MC Mix, and uh, I've not had any problems. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through this bit of software, which is the, the control software for um, the control surface. I'm not going to go into any detail, I just wanted to quickly show you. That's my uh, workstation, which is recognised, so it's communicating between the two. Then there's various pages of lots of different options. Now, I don't know what impact these will have. Um, I've not had much chance to play. I've left them on defaults, but I uh, just want to show you that there are opportunities here for tweaking things if you're not too happy. But as I say, I can't, I don't know how much impact they'll have um, on your experience. It's uh, suck it and see, I think. Right, so I've got it set up on port 1 and I'm using uh, generic script MCU generic which is a fairly vanilla option which can be configured um, which is something I'm working on at the moment um, so let's close that down let's bring up the device uh, I've just got Windows nothing fancy so I've just got the uh, unit showing in the window so I can quickly run through some of the options. The basics, obviously, you want to see the faders working. Um, I think you can probably move as many as you want at any one particular time. Uh, they work quite fine. I might be a little bit out of sync. Um, that's probably down to my setup rather than the, the unit being out of sync. It's actually happening at the same time for me. Banking, I can bank up and down. Um, one at a time. Or uh, in, in units of eight. Uh, I've got control over track selection here, as you'd uh, expect. I can record and enable um, individual tracks. Um, now I've seen a little bit of a few issues with this where it seems to get out of sync with FL Studio. I've not looked into that, but you know, by and large, that's working okay. Um, I can solo tracks, I can uh, mute tracks, I think. Or bring them all back. Uh, the fade is quite nice because it shows you what's happening on the screen. You can just see that little animated um, fader above my fingers there. The thing that's unusual actually is I would like it to be showing the track numbers. It only shows you a track number when you touch the knob and I haven't sussed out how to change that. But what we really want is to see all the track numbers, you know, something like that. Um, Probably doable, probably just takes a few more tweaks either in the script or on the settings that I showed you earlier on. Um, there's a shift mode here, which I press these two, it stays in shift mode. And you just see along here, you've got a number of function keys. So if you don't have the transport control, um, and I, I do, but I don't have it set up and I'll show you in a future video, then you can still operate the unit. So I'm in play mode there, you can see the, um, the song started playing there. Uh, I can stop it. I can go into record mode. Probably just see the light blinking on FL Studio at the top there. Um, I can go fast forward. I can go rewind. These two next and previous, not sure what they do. Um, and this one is the pattern song selector button. Um, there are various knobs down the side here which I haven't found to be especially consistent, but again, it may be just a question of tweaking things. And I think this button brings up, um, or can be configured to bring up an application in Windows. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's your, your basics. So what I would say in general is, if you've got one of these and you're an FL Studio user, yes, it will work. Is it the best control service for FL Studio? No, but if it's the one you've got, um, you can get use, use out of it. Um, I think 
for me, the important thing for control services is everything I've shown you there. Tweaking plugins and all the other kind of things um, is a nice to have, uh, but I tend to do those on the screen anyway. I tend to have the screen behind me there, so um, I'm not too worried about whether those work or not. And I can't tell you whether they do work on here because it's not something I've looked into. Um, anything I've missed, I can't think of anything right now, but uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, thanks for your time.